हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी विल कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन और नेक्स्ट फॉरवर्ड कैनामेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर थ्री डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम रोबोट सो नेक्स्ट इज दी थ्री लिंक और थ्री डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम रोबोट सो दिस फिगर शोज एक्जैक्टली कैनामेटिक्स ऑफ थ्री डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम रोबोट सो इन दैट फॉरवर्ड कैनामेटिक्स और फॉरवर्ड कैनामेटिक्स इज द प्रोसेस टू गेट कॉर्डिनेट्स of end effector from given angles of all joints means in forward kinematics case uh, l1 l2 l3 all length lengths are given or theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 these are the given parameter and you have to find out unknown position of end effector so in previous lecture we already discuss or already covered the forward kinematics equation for 2 degrees of freedom robot so instead of uh, two lengths or two links uh, you have to consider third link or you have to add one extra link to the next joint so l1 so l1 is the length of link number first okay this is the link number first link number second link number third similar to previous case okay this is the joint number first joint number second and joint number third okay means you have to consider all joint space coordinates or world space coordinates as per your requirement so where l1 is the length of link number first l2 is the length of link number second l3 is the length of link number third similar to previous case then uh, theta 1 theta 1 is the angular displacement or angle between uh, horizontal to axis of link link number first theta 2 is the exactly angle between axis of link number first and axis of link number second and theta 3 is the angle between uh, axis of link number second and axis of link number third so you have to find out a known position of end effector p x comma y this is the unknown position of end effector p x comma y so you have to add one extra link link number 3 in previous case okay means you have to again find out p x comma y for 3 degrees of freedom or 3 length or 3 link robot so forward and inverse kinematics are the methods to calculate coordinates of end effector and joint angle respectively so in 3 degrees of freedom or the 3 degrees of freedom manipulator shown in figure the third degree of freedom will represent a wrist joint the world space coordinates for the wrist and uh, end effector or ends you can directly represents a known position of end effector p x comma y so this is the main objective of forward kinematics to find out a known position of end effector in three dimensional space so in case of three dimensional or a three degrees of freedom robot you have to consider all x component similar to previous case means x coordinates for link number first we already discuss in previous lecture how you can consider x component for link number first x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 okay for link number first x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 for link number first x is equal to l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 link number second these are the two previous equations you have to add one extra equation or extra x component for link number 3 x is equal to l3 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 okay means total distance total x distance from the point e from the origin so you have to add these three equations or uh, three x components for getting total distance from origin means x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 okay plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 for secondly plus l3 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 for link number 3 this is the total distance or total x distance horizontal distance from the origin means this is the unknown distance of the end effector from origin 
so this is the formula for 3 degrees of freedom robot x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus l3 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 similarly you have to consider y components okay for link number first you have to replace cos theta by sin theta for y component y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 link number first for link number second y is equal to l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 addition of theta 1 plus theta 2 and you have to add one one extra component extra y component for 3 degrees of freedom y is equal to l3 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 for link number 3 okay so these are the two previous components you have to add one extra component y is equal to l3 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 for link number 3 so uh, addition of vectors means addition of uh, vectors of l1 l2 and l3 vector addition of 1 2 and 3 yields the coordinates of x and y of the end of arm in word space means you can directly give the y coordinates y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 means addition of three y components l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 plus l3 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 with the help of this equation second equation you can directly find out y coordinate of or y position or exactly y coordinate vertical distance from the origin so this is the simply uh, forward kinematics equation for three degrees of or three degrees of freedom robot so forward kinematics is the process to get coordinates of the end effector from given angle means in case of forward kinematics uh, these are the given parameters l1 l1 l2 l3 means length of link number first second and third theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and you have to find out unknown position p x comma y this is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate means by using these two equations you can directly find out unknown position and orientation of robot end effector in three dimensional space then what is your next step you have to find out angle psi okay psi is equal to simply addition of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 okay psi next what is your next equation you have to find out value of psi psi is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 by using this equation you can easily find out total angle okay total angle of vector uh, total angle of link number 3 psi is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 so these are the two equations or uh, two components x component and y component by using these two component you can easily find out unknown position of end defector in three dimensional space means in a direct kinematics uh, given the vector of joint variables of the robot manipulator determine the position and orientation of the tool with respect to coordinate frame attached to the robot frame means in case of forward kinematics all joint space parameters are given means l1 l2 l3 then theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 are the given parameters and you have to find out unknown position and orientation of a robot hand or robot end effector robot end effector is nothing but hand of robot which is directly connected to last joint means robot end effector act as a hand of the robot which is directly connected to third joint or last joint and you can easily perform the task with the help of end effector means as per the decided task you can easily replace the end effector so in case of welding robot you can directly connect welding gun so for spray painting operation spray painting gun act as an end effector means you can directly fit the end effector and perform decided task
so with the help of uh, these two equation or x component and y component you can directly find out unknown position and orientation of robot hand in three dimensional space means unknown position p x comma y position of end effector in space p x comma y and total angle of the link number three from uh, from the horizontal axis is size equal to theta theta one plus theta two plus theta three so these are the three important equation of forward kinematics of three degrees of freedom robot x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus l3 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 for x component for y component y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 plus l3 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 and psi is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 so by using this equations three equations you can easily find out the unknown position and orientation of robot end effector in three dimensional space the three degrees of freedom robot uh, or uh, the third degree of freedom will be represent uh, wrist joint the world space of coordinates you can easily find out world space coordinate or cartesian space coordinate by using these two formulas